Good afternoon. Thank you for joining and welcome to Rakuten's second quarter financial results meeting. I'd like to first hear from Mr. Mikitani talking about the impact of COVID-19 to Q2 results, followed by Mr. Hirose. The Q&A session would follow. Now let me introduce members of the executive team of Rakuten. Hiroshi Mikitani. Kenji Hirose. Masayuki Hosaka. Yoshihisa Yamada. Tarek Amin. Kentaro Hyakuno. Yasufumi Hirai. Makoto Arema. Kazunori Takeda. Hiroshi Takasawa. Koichi Nakamura. Nariaki Komori. These 12 executives will be present and available for questions at the end of the presentation. Please show the presentation slide. Now, over to you, Mr. Mikitani. Good afternoon. Thank you for attending fiscal year 2020 second quarter consolidated financial results meeting. As has been explained by the Secretariat, unfortunately, due to COVID-19, we can't meet face to face, but rather using Zoom as a webinar. Now, without further ado, I'd like to begin the presentation. Due to COVID-19, Various enterprises are faced with impacts in different forms, but fortunately, I would say, thanks to diversified portfolio in the case of Rakuten and due to uh, the uh, core business that is online business in Q2, we saw consolidated revenue up 13.4% year on year. As to global GTV, that was up 12.6%. In domestic e-commerce, GMS growth, especially shopping. And I have to say that the trouble, among others, was heavily impacted. But when it is excluded, in the case of Rakuten, Ichibar, and others, and then I would say the shopping e-commerce, GMS growth, was up 48.1% year on year. I'd like to touch on that uh, later on. After the end of first wave of COVID-19, after uh, the state of uh, emergency declaration uh, was uh, removed, and yet we continue to uh, grow. And as to the uh, gap operating income, the, due to the sale of overdrive, it was uh, 3.3 billion, and no gap operating income was impacted uh, due to the move of business and logistics investment. Thus, it was minus 32.6 billion. As I said earlier, we have established a unique ecosystem, especially in fintech. The revenue growth was 19.5% up year on year. Non-gap operating income, again, was up 24.2% year on year. As I said earlier, the travel business was hit hard, but in our case, in our group, we are engaged in different kinds of businesses, and therefore, we successfully real, uh, reallocated the people and also restructured the business model, and therefore, we are already seeing the, the positive uh, revenue. Uh, the, the revenue was up, and also, as a local travel is promoted, we are seeing recovery here as well. And as to Rakuten Mobile, thanks to Unlimited uh, program, we have achieved 1 million applications. The Rakuten Mini was so popular, and uh, the, we were out of inventory. It takes about a one or two to fill that shortage. And in the beginning, 
the, we also received applications from Ichiba. And when they're translated into actual contracts, there was a time lag of about one to two months. Yet, I would say that the mobile business has been growing quite successfully. And in a nutshell, in Rakuten Group, our ecosystem, despite various hardships, especially under COVID-19, has managed to achieve a robust growth. Number two, internet shopping is seeing uh, increasing demand. Some might think it is a one-off type of surge, but as far as we are concerned, we are seeing the permanent change among consumer behaviors. And we are now seeing the uh, increased number of positive cases. About a month ago, when well, the situation has settled down somewhat, yet there was no slowdown in e-commerce growth. And the unified uh, shipping service is participated by about 80% of merchants. And uh, that is where we see a very strong growth. If you purchase more than 3,980 yen, then the shipping fee would be uh, free. So therefore, we expect that the, this package would help us continue sustainable growth. And uh, the, we are seeing the, uh, the steady mobile customer acquisitions. And also, we are seeing the Rakuten communication platform strategy has been developed quite successfully, thus demonstrating the strength of Rakuten ecosystem. Now turning to the next page. In short, core business, uh, growth phase businesses, and investment phase businesses, that's how we typically classify our businesses into, except for record and travel. Uh, the core businesses enjoyed the revenue of increase of 15.1% and operating income 19.8%. And even when travel is included, revenue was up 9.4% and operating income up 1.2%. And for growth phase businesses, revenue is up 27.2%. And those in the investment phase businesses, the revenue is up 64.7%. Now, the, as to the impact of COVID-19, let's take a closer look. In Q2, we saw the uh, the e-commerce in Rakuta and Ichiba increase 48.1%, and that uh, level of growth is still maintained since the beginning of month of August. And Rakuta and uh, Securities in online banking and cashless pay, the Rakuta Securities is the one that we are seeing the uh, increase in uh, the customers. But that's enjoying revenue up 29.3% and operating income up 62.1% thanks to synergy of other businesses. And as the Rakuten card, when other card companies are suffering the setback in offline shopping, in the case of Rakuten card, it has continued to achieve a steady growth, especially in the field of digital entertainment or digital content, Rakuten TV in Europe is growing explosively. Now, active users were added with 3.9 million in Rakuten Viki. In, the, the, in this quarter alone, we have added 3.7 million users. Rakuten uh, Kobo, that is online education. Rakuten Kobo is enjoying growth in revenue. It turned into black. And for this uh, quarter alone, the registered users increased by 1.9 million as direct and mobile due to the uh, requirement for work from home. And because more and more people are staying more time at home, including young population, as I said earlier, uh, we have received uh, more than 1 million applications for the quarter. And record and Viber, the unique IDs, was up 16.5 million. 
If I may repeat, despite COVID-19 impact, and maybe because of that, the e-commerce GMS in Japan was up 48.1% uh, year on year. As if you take a look at the details, and then the new purchasers increased by 63.1%, and there were those people who once came to uh, Rakuten and then uh, didn't come back, but they came back again, uh, and the returning purchasers was up 80.9%. And the Rakuten card shopping GTV share compared to other card companies like A and B. Generally speaking, by A and B, uh, these are the card companies for uh, which are affiliated with retail businesses, and I would say they are doing fairly good. Yet, uh, they, there are some card companies that are suffering negative growth, and despite that. Rakuten card, as you see here, continues to achieve a steady growth. Now, fintech. The Rakuten card holders now topped 20 million. And when I mentioned about uh, the card holders, uh, the, whenever the uh, number is disclosed, uh, we were wondering whether our uh, business model could be copied by others, but actually we topped uh, 20 million. The Rakuten bank accounts it exceeded 9 million. Uh, back some time ago, it was about uh, 4 million. It is more than doubled and soon reached 10 million, especially in the case of Rakuten securities accounts. It uh, already reached 4.4 4 million. And in the industry, I would say this is the, the fastest uh, growing uh, business. And as I said earlier, in a cashless transaction, Rakuten has a strong position, not only Rakuten Card, but also Rakuten Eddy, Rakuten Bank, Rakuten Pay, the debit card are also available. In the cashless transaction, we enjoy rather sizable market share. Now about e-commerce, what kind of initiatives are there? As I said earlier, despite COVID-19, we are seeing increasing demand for e-commerce. And this is not a one-off type of event. In fact, the Thanks to improved service in Rakuten and Ichiba, among others, we are seeing such a sustainable growth. In fact, uh, internet shopping is a part of daily life of consumers, and therefore, the logis logistics is a key there. And there are two points. One is about uh, the the unified uh, shipping, the this or uniform shipping. This uh, leads to worry-free shopping experience. And also, we have our own logistics network, which allows us uh, to introduce various initiatives. Right now, about 70% of households are covered by our own uh, logistics network. We want to further increase it. And with that, in various ways. Uh, this contributes to improvement of efficiency of operation of merchants. We are also expanding logistics centers, as you see here, and we'll soon start the new center on June 15th this year in Chiba Narashino. The new center was open, and in first half of next year, there will be another one in Chuo Rinkan in Kanagawa. This is an automated warehouse. And why logistics is a key? First of all, for merchants, it is efficient and therefore less costly. For those merchants that use uh, Rakuten Super Logistics, 
they enjoyed a nearly 40% or 40 points increase in growth compared to non-users, non-using uh, merchants. The first that we have next day delivery or ASRAKU and high quality packaging and lower logistics cost. And before for merchants, they can reduce a uh, labor cost because they are freed up uh, they're able to free up their labor using Rakuten applications. Notification for estimated delivery time could be made or during a Rakuten super sale and shopping a marathon. There could be cases where a consumer might be buying from tens of uh, the merchants, if not hundreds, and in such a case, they, all those uh, items could be put into one package. What is called the 39 shops at 39, that is the merchants uh, with the uh, uniform shipping, compared to those uh, with the uniform shipping with those without, uh, they are achieving nearly 40% of growth and therefore uh, for merchants as well. And co consumers, they prefer to buy from those stores with uniform shipping. And as a result, NPS improvement for both heavy and light users, we outperform competitors. And there may be some users that, ha that were not satisfied with shipping, but now their satisfaction level has improved greatly. So now I'd like to move on to the mobile uh, business. Uh, first, the uh, customer acquisition. The, uh, Customer acquisition for the Rakuten Group uh, is exemplified by the 20 million, uh, exceeding 20 million for the Rakuten card. And what we are trying to realize uh, is uh, for the Rakuten Mobile uh, is to democratize uh, this uh, mobile uh, phone uh, business. So even from a global perspective, uh, the Japanese uh, mobile um, fees are very expensive. So uh, based on our very unique and strong technology, we can deploy uh, this uh, kind of um, very um, cheap or uh, good um, kind of um, a service. Now, this is a new uh, television uh, commercial uh, for the Rakuten Mobile, and we'd like to introduce you uh, to that. <laughs> そこで楽天モバイルアンリミット 2.0 can you hear? So uh, the strategy for the Rakuten Mobile uh, is uh, called Ant Limit. Uh, it will be about uh, half the price of uh, our competitors. And the reason uh, can be um, explained uh, from the following uh, three points. We have this um, technology, the backbone. Rakuten Group is the only um, group uh, in the uh, world uh, which has the radio uh, access uh, that has been uh, made software uh, has been uh, created through the uh, software and we are also uh, con building um, base stations and another uh, point uh, is uh, the uh, Rakuten uh, groups ecosystem so these uh, three points uh, make it uh, possible for us to uh, reduce the mobile prices now speaking about the base stations originally the plan was uh, to uh, aim um, for 90% coverage of population by 2028, but um, the deployment has been accelerated. At this point in time, at the end of um, June, it was 5,739, and uh, more than 10,000 base stations have completed uh, their uh, buildup, and we're waiting uh, for uh, the connections at the moment. 
and uh, by March uh, 2021, we're aiming uh, or we will be able to um, realize our target of 70% coverage of population. And by next summer, uh, what we were saying that we will achieve in 2028, all the base stations uh, will be deployed. Uh, that will happen next summer. So uh, it has been brought forward by seven years. Um, originally, um, I think uh, many uh, of you were worried about uh, the base stations uh, building uh, that was uh, delayed, but actually it's uh, been accelerated. Now, uh, next uh, is the user um, survey. The overall satisfaction uh, is 80 percent. Of course, it has to be 100 percent, but uh, it's very easy to understand. Our pricing plan is very simple. Um, we just have one single unlimit um, plan, uh, which is being um, received very well. Uh, by our users, and the cost performance is good, and the flat rate data plan, in other words, uh, the, uh, the speed, the communication speed, uh, is also uh, receiving uh, tremendous satisfaction. Now, uh, speaking about uh, 5G, a launch, uh, so the question was, who, uh, who are we going to um, partner with? As far as 5G rollout is uh, concerned, we have decided uh, to partner uh, with a Japanese um, a company, uh, NEC, uh, which is very um, skilled uh, in its um, technology. Uh, we will be developing the 5G core uh, together jointly. So it will be um, stand alone. Um, the 5G um, fast. Uh, uh, advantage, uh, that kind of network uh, will be uh, developed together with NEC. Rakuten uh, Group uh, is uh, the only company which has uh, been able to um, create this software. So uh, we're the only ones who can do this. Um, METI as well as NEDO have uh, been evaluating uh, this program very highly, and uh, they will be providing um, us uh, with a research and development uh, subsidy. Now, uh, Rakuten uh, Mobile, uh, Chapter 1, or maybe it's like uh, an introduction, uh, preliminary introduction. Um, and, and now we are going to go into the second phase. Uh, the U.S. government and the European governments and the Middle East uh, uh, governments are uh, very interested in this um, strategy, and even uh, those um, uh, companies uh, starting up in this uh, area are uh, showing interest uh, in our um, strategy. So we are going to be um, building the Rakuten communications platform. The first uh, step was virtualization. The second phase is the Rakuten communications platform, or RCP. Um, starting this fall uh, here in Japan, we will be uh, conducting tests. And so in that sense, uh, this is uh, a full uh, virtualization uh, that will be uh, promoted. It's very difficult to explain this in um, words uh, verbally. So uh, in order for you to understand what it what this is going to be like, the um, the de facto um, or the uh, present uh, platform, Ericsson or Samsung, uh, they had to be uh, they had to come out co uh, come in uh, to build uh, the platform. But uh, what we are trying to deploy globally is the RCP uh, container uh, based uh, platform the uh, communications platform, uh, how easily can you uh, build a network uh, is um, uh, going to be uh, shown in the following video. Please uh, watch that uh, demonstration. RCP RCP Marketplace Step 1 
購入手続きの途中でご質問がある場合いつでも当社のバーチャルエージェントにお問い合わせいただけます次に記者の運用を安全かつインテリジェントに保つため記者のソリューションに最も合致したモジュールを追加しますまたプラットフォーム内での機能のカスタマイズに役立つ当社ツールの一部を選択し組み込むことも可能ですまた他に必要な重要事項がある場合には当社で確認し順を追ってご案内いたしますステップ2基本内容を確認する記者の概要に基づく情報が事前に入力されプロセスを簡単かつスムーズにいたしますまた当社データセンターもしくは記者独自のデータセンターのご利用についていずれかを選択することもでき記者の要件に柔軟に対応いたします RCP はテクノロジープロバイダーとしての多様性とカスタマイズ機能を提供し幅広い LAN プロバイダーの中から記者のニーズに最も適したトランスポート、コア、IMS をお選びいただけます。ステップ3、技術的な詳細を入力する。最後に、容量、待機時間、待機幅など、ネットワーク全体、およびトラフィックのパラメータを事前に選択できます。ステップ4、チェックアウトに進む。ご選択内容を確認の上、ご注文するだけで、楽天モバイルのネットワークサービスをご活用いただけるようになります楽天 RCP 世界をリードする事業者向けのプラットフォーム Thank you So I don't know if this is a good way to describe this Well, if I am to compare, well, very、um, simply, we have been able to build、uh, the network、uh, because we developed that technology by ourselves. So、uh, it's really a revolution, a dramatic revolution that is going to happen in the network、uh, industry. So we've been、um, hearing a lot about open、uh, RAN. And also, fully virtualized.、Uh, Rakuten Mobile is uh, uh, driving uh, this move. So, there's a lot of artificial intelligence involved here, and container, which is a new、uh, technology for virtualization uh, that will、uh, improve、uh, scalability or automatically uh, that uh, scalability. Uh, can be achieved, and not because it's、um, cheap as a software, but well, it's、um, not a very good、uh, comparison, but it's like、um, the automobile, a car by Tesla that's very fast. So, this container、uh, based uh, power uh, that is open、uh, platform it is revolutionary and it will、uh, dramatically、uh, change. Uh, the definition of uh, the uh, platform.、Uh, how big is the market、uh, for this? It's about 30 trillion, 40 trillion per、uh, year. That's、uh, what we are、um, uh, targeting. So,、uh, if we introduce RCP, how much will it cost, cost us? At least.、Uh, Uh, we, we will achieve 30% uh, cost reduction by introducing uh, this um, Rakuten communication platform. The competition、uh, might be becoming very severe in some countries, so for、uh, future growth, I think this, there is tremendous potential. Now,、uh, the、uh, strength of the Rakuten、e、ecosystem,、uh, thanks to、uh, everyone. Uh, our recognition uh, has become very global. Uh, it's 82.7%、uh, in Taiwan, 62.2% in US, France 79.7%, and、uh, Spain 74.1%.、Uh, the membership is also、uh, increasing. So, the concept,、uh, the, st the, the strategy that we are、uh, conceptualizing、uh, is to uh, really uh, become. Uh, number one 
so rather than uh, in a limited um, area, uh, this mobile um, uh, industry will be looking at uh, the entire uh, mobile uh, market, uh, be it in payment or other types of marketing using data and the transaction, the finance, all of that uh, has a very high value addedness. So uh, this is going to be our strategy of Rakuten everywhere. The Rakuten card, I said, has reached 20 million um, membership. Um, so we believe that uh, Rakuten Mobile uh, will exceed that number. Uh, those people who are paying 7,000 yen a month, if that can be reduced to 3,000 yen, that's uh, like 50,000 yen a year. And if they have um, five people in a family, uh, that would be 200,000 yen and so forth. That's uh, the calculation. So the economic uh, advantage, um, the economic uh, benefit uh, of the Rakuten card uh, uh, will uh, be exceeded by what Rakuten Mobile uh, will provide. So there is tremendous potential uh, for the future. Uh, finally, uh, speaking about COVID-19, I need to, uh, uh, to give you some additional information at the moment. The Rakuten Group, um, majority of the employees are, are working uh, from home. Well, if it's uh, the logistics, the warehouse, uh, y they have to go there. But uh, other than that, uh, most of the employees work from home. And um, we have uh, various uh, uh, systems to uh, support uh, work from home. So uh, globally speaking, our uh, COVID-19 initiative, I think, is uh, quite uh, uh, good. Now, as for uh, the uh, partners, uh, we're providing uh, them um, support in Rakuten uh, travel. Uh, we want to uh, provide um, safe and reassuring um, guidelines. And also, if there has to be some kind of contact, like uh, nail salons or uh, beauty uh, uh, salons, uh, we try to uh, provide uh, countermeasures against COVID-19. And as for Rakuten real-time uh, takeout, uh, I would like you to use this until October. Uh, the free of charge uh, takeout uh, uh, is going to be uh, implemented. And uh, also uh, the uh, uh, this uh, work uh, from home uh, sometimes m will become very uh, stressful. So we uh, can uh, provide our hotel rooms uh, as uh, offices or the vacation um, staycation and etc. Uh, can be uh, provided. Now, as for um, um, our uh, charity funds or uh, the donation, uh, to uh, one's hometown, etc. That is going to also be implemented. Now, so uh, in sustainability is another uh, commitment. Um, over here, uh, you see uh, this uh, indices uh, against. Uh, uh, racial uh, discrimination uh, that uh, was uh, promoted in the U.S., as well as other types of environmental uh, commitments that are uh, being promoted. So the ESG uh, indices, uh, we have been selected uh, as a ES uh, to be a constituent in the ESG in index or indices, uh, S&P, S &P, JPX. Well, uh, the uh, ESG Select Leaders Index, uh, we have uh, been evaluated highly as well as in empowering women. Um, Hirose uh, will give you the uh, consolidated results, but um, could you please uh, refer to page 67 of the appendix? 
uh, page uh, 67 of the appendix. So uh, cashless uh, era uh, is uh, really going to arrive. Uh, I may be repeating, but the uh, strength of the Rakuten group uh, is as indicated here. Uh, there is a uh, uniform or common ID, uh, so you can um, use that one ID for credit cards, debit cards, e-money, QR code, barcodes, point cards, and uh, the Rakuten Pay uh, is also uh, introduced there. And the core uh, uh, is uh, the Rakuten Point, uh, which is number one. Uh, in Japan, it, in terms of uh, satisfaction, uh, we are uh, number one in terms of the points, uh, etc. Um, approximately five million uh, merchants uh, are um, have been um, participating, and also for Suica linkage. Uh, well, I'm trying to stay home and not uh, uh, move around too much, but if I have to. Uh, ride the trains or take the bullet trains, I will use uh, the Rakuten Pay, the Suica um, platform, uh, platform. So uh, for the cashless uh, strategy, we have a very good uh, program. And then if you can turn to page 72, or, or 73 rather, So uh, what is, uh, does the future hold for us? Rakuten Mobile will, well, we are trying to achieve 20 million, uh, and uh, we will be making investments, uh, which will uh, bring a tremendous impact. Uh, if you look at Q2, uh, this is the, uh, Domestic e-commerce operating income breakdown uh, was 12.1 uh, in Q2 uh, to 2019, and that has increased to 20 uh, billion. The Rakuten uh, trav travel and Gora, of course, uh, uh, suffered uh, a negative impact uh, from COVID-19. Uh, so. Uh, and then there's the logistics-related investments, uh, which can be recovered, uh, which is minus 3.3. So this 12.1 uh, will exceed uh, 20 billion, and the minus 5.9 billion, that will be recovered, and the logistics-related investments, that will also be uh, recovered and will contribute uh, to our revenue and to our sales. So the catalog uh, shopping uh, is uh, going to change uh, its uh, contents, and uh, the revenue is almost uh, three trillion yen, but we're aiming at uh, seven trillion or eight trillion. So this uh, kind of approach uh, will uh, be uh, necessary. Uh, so I hope the investors uh, will uh, take a look at uh, this kind of approach. Uh, thank you very much. That's all from my side. So I'd like to uh, continue uh, with the consolidated uh, results. Uh, this is uh, the, uh, the results uh, summary. For this uh, quarter, uh, we achieved 347.3 billion, which was up 13.4% uh, year on year. And uh, the mobile logistics, uh, we have done some upfront investments. So uh, it was 31.3 billion, but including the uh, sale of overdrive holdings, I for us operating incomes was 3.3 billion yen. Um, uh, if you exclude mobile logistics and investment business, it was 31.3 billion yen. On page nine of the handouts, uh, we will see uh, the last three months uh, uh, summary. So uh, it was minus uh, 4.5 billion yen uh, before tax, but uh, because of the uh, system of uh, consolidated uh, 
uh, uh, calculation, we uh, were able to uh, register 7.5 billion yen for this quarter. Uh, this is uh, the uh, core uh, business as well as non-recurring investments and future uh, growth investments of revenue and operating income. The COVID-19 uh, did uh, impact uh, uh, some of the business, but overall, uh, the result has been very good. And the Rakuten Securities did very well. But on the other hand, uh, we uh, registered some negative numbers uh, in the investments, uh, the future growth investments. and. Uh, we will continue to make investments uh, for uh, future growth investments uh, to be able to uh, register uh, positive figures for the revenue and operating income. Now, this is the uh, non-GAAP operating income breakdown. Uh, so uh, it was a three point, uh, excuse me, 3.2 uh, billion yen uh, for others, but uh, for the operating income, it was 7.6 billion yen, and the domestic EC was 8.1 uh, billion, and then a minus 5.9, which was what a one-time uh, slow slowing of growth uh, by COVID-19. So the base uh, revenue, 7.5 billion last year. Uh, has increased to 10.7 billion yen uh, this quarter. And then the uh, deficit of uh, minus 38.4 from uh, mobile uh, is indicated uh, that. And so the Q2 uh, operating income is minus 32.6 billion yen. The uh, Rakuten ecosystem uh, membership value uh, is explained uh, in this uh, page in Q2. A membership value was 7.3 trillion uh, yen. The MNO uh, business uh, is not included in this membership value. Now, this is the uh, membership value uh, trend. Active users are growing uh, steadily, and also we are seeing um, uh, increase in accounts for Rakuten Securities, new uh, customers, as well as returning uh, customers uh, can be uh, seen. Uh, cross use is also uh, growing. So Rakuten Ichiba, Rakuten Securities um, contributed uh, to the increase in the revenue and OI, uh, which was 7.3 uh, trillion uh, yen for uh, Q2 2020. Uh, that concludes uh, my presentation on the consolidated results. Uh, this uh, concludes the uh, presentation on the consolidated results.